Hi everybody, my name is Mauro Scandiuzzo. I'm a field application engineer for ST Microelectronics and I cover the MEMS sensor. In particular today, I would like to show you how it's possible to use Unico graphical user interface without an hardware. Assuming then you are doing your data logging, okay, and you want to use our 6DSOX to implement a feature of a machine learning core and design your decision tree. You don't need to have an hardware, you just need to have a Unico and you can use that offline. Another important feature that I would like to mention about the Unico uh, graphical user interface then is possible to work without uh, the hardware, so without using our profit man tool. How is possible to do that? So when you download the package, actually, and you type Unico in our st.com website, and you download the software, you can also, when you finish the installation process, call Unico from here, open the graphical user interface. At this point, you can work offline. And how you can make that? So if you look here, there is on the bottom part, communication with motherboard, enable. So if you disable that, you press this, at this point, you can work offline. Let's say for a device like LSM6 DSO, DSOX, where you can design the Finistay machine and also the machine learning core, is a suitable uh, tool because, uh, for instance, uh, for the machine learning core, you might have the data logging based on your uh, hardware. So at this point, you can use our software just for collecting the data and, and create your machine learning and your decision tree algorithm. How you can make it that? So you select iNEMO inertial module, you scroll down, you select LSM6 DSOX, and even if you don't have the hardware attached to your board, and actually it's gonna pop up and say, you are using Unico without a motherboard, and that is fine, you press OK. At this point, you have all the capability of design your machine learning core, just pressing that. And with this, you can go through. You can update the file, then uh, you have it for your data logging and build up your configuration based on the tool. You can select the device that you are using, select uh, the auto data rate, then you perform the data logging. Uh, you said that you want to perform the machine learning core. If you are using accelerometer, accelerometer and gyro, accelerometer and gyro, or an external sensor, or just accelerometer and external sensor, assuming that you are using just accelerometer, you go through the full scale how you perform the data logging, for example, 2G, um, the auto data rate of your data logging then has to be consistent with that and also the uh, machine learning core has to be consistent with that auto data rate that cannot be higher than that assuming that in this case we leave the same the number of decision tree that you want to apply for example one the number of sample that you want to use for every uh, window length like for example if you want to use uh, 20 sample, you select here 20. At this point, you select if you want to have some filter, custom filter or not, and you select the feature then you are able to use, like for example, if in the case then you want to do uh, monitor vibration, is peak to peak detection. So the peak to peak detection, you just need to apply this peak detection on, for example, enable uh, the vector value you go ahead at this point so you can perform your decision tree using also Weka or Rapid or whatever other algorithm, but just offline using your data logging without using our hardware. Thank you very much today for uh, uh, watching the video. And uh, so if you need any kind of more information, please go to our website, www.st.com. You can find a lot of information, a lot of collateral and please uh, uh, enjoy uh, the experience to work with ST.com.